What is this overcharging me? I beg you, I live in Ghana. Madam, I don't have money, oh. Please, give me Ghana price. Hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again. You know, in Ghana, since I would say 2019, there has been a lot of diasporans or African-Americans or blacks from the diaspora, basically, trooping into Ghana since 2019, when this year of return was launched. And a lot of them, when they come into the country, they see how the country is and they just fall in love with the country. So there are a lot of people, like everyone, you can find all sorts of people, even the Lebanese, the Chinese. There are a lot of people here and they are living here comfortably without any problems, you know. And today, I want to share with you a video of a German lady. Her name is Lendita. She came from Germany to Ghana, um, I think 2018, someone invited her and when she came, she just fell in love with the country and decided to move here. I think 2023, that's when she decided to move to Ghana. So um, I want to share her video with you, listen to uh, what she said about the reason why she moved to Ghana. Finally, the reason why I moved to Ghana, here it is. <laughs> I just fell in love in Ghana and I was like, let's try it. Let's see how this love is gonna um, feel when I'm actually living here. So I just came here for experience. And a lot of people assume that I came here for a boyfriend or my boyfriend brought me here. But no, Lendicha is not here because of a boyfriend. So my first time in Ghana was in 2018. I got invited from a very good friend. She's from Ghana and we spent christmas in ghana in 2018 and i was like wow the energy the vibe the vibration the people everything was just i was just feeling so comfortable and so welcomed and so happy and i don't know it's just a feeling that a lot of people you probably have seen videos can't explain and i think it's just because if you come from the western world for the first time to an African country, the feeling it gives you is maybe something like, it feels like you are free, you are back home, you are accepted. It's like so many things that um, you never consider when you are actually outside of this feeling. 2023, I decided to move to Ghana. I was already since 2018 always saying how does it feel to actually live in Ghana because I always came for a vacation and my vacation lasted in Ghana between four and six weeks. Um, I came once or twice a year so I really got to know Ghana and the culture and the system how everything works so I got comfortable and because I got comfortable that was where I was like let's try to move here for a longer period of time and now it's been almost a year that i'm here so what a lot of people also ask me is what do i actually work i work in sales i sell products um, services and everything that has to do with construction and real estate and i work for multiple companies as a sales executive Next to that job, I also work as a model. Then I also am a talent agent, talent manager. I have one uh, talent I manage, get bookings and help with marketing. And my last job is I do events. And yeah, that's about four jobs I think I have. Yeah, and this is what I do in Ghana. For now, I'm happy. So the goal for me in Ghana is to establish a business or some investments. I haven't found the right uh, opportunity yet or the right um, business yet, but I'm working on it and I hope it goes well. And yeah, this is why I moved to Ghana. What is this overcharging me? I beg you, I live in Ghana. Madam, I don't have money, oh. Please, give me Ghana price. Also, Uber drivers always ask me, is this cash or a card trip? I tell them, Bosu, I pay with Momo. Are you happy? The first question everyone is asking me, why are you in Ghana? What brought you to Ghana? I tell them, hmm, I came here for my peace, for my happiness, for my freedom. 
And no, I didn't come here for boyfriend or husband. But I'm not saying I'm not looking for one. <laughs> Why is everyone asking me if I can be their friend? I have so many friends by now. I beg you. What does that even mean? If you see me on the street, say hi. Don't be shy. So you see, I've actually heard a lot of people say it. Like, when they come to Ghana, the feeling is different. It doesn't even feel like you are away from home. Even if you are not raised here, you are not born here. It feels like you are home. That's basically how it feels. As anybody, like anybody that wants to come into the country, that's how. It is not just her. If you're somebody that is on the internet all the time, you hear this. Like, everybody says this. It feels like home. Some people are even saying that Ghana is not a country and Ghana is home. And for me, I think it's very, very, very true because I always say even even being a Ghanaian and being in Ghana, one thing that I always say is that if the economy is good and we have jobs for the citizens, everything is going on well, I'm telling you, no Ghanaian will even travel outside because this country, if you have money, if you have money to spend in this country, trust me, you will never ever think of even traveling to any place in the world. The freedom. I remember some time ago I interviewed one UK lady and she was also saying the same thing that the freedom here is too much like when you are here you feel so free, the people are lovely, the people are so friendly and all that. These are the words or these are some of the things that you hear from everybody that visits Ghana. It's been like that since. It's been like that for a very, very long time. And there is no lies in these things that they say. So I always say that if you want to experience the country, stop listening to whatever that they say on the internet. Book that flight, come into the country and have the experience yourself. Listen, in Ghana, there are a lot of people from all parts of the world who are living here. So for me, this is an experience. What about you? Maybe you want to also share your experience. Just feel free, book that flight, come to Ghana and have that experience that you've always wanted. Because I always say abroad, the US, the UK and all these other places. It is you trying to survive. When you are there, it's like you are trying to survive because at the end of the month, what you even get, the bills that you pay, like it's too much, it's so much, you understand? And it, it puts some stress on you. But when you come here, you can even decide to come here and work remotely. A lot of people are here working remotely and they are being paid in dollars and they are spending their monies here. And trust me, it's like when you are abroad, you will not be living that loves your lifestyle, but you working remotely and being paid in dollars when you are here, it is easy. You will live the luxurious life that you want to live. You've been craving for all your life. So book that flight and come and enjoy yourself. Thank you so much for watching.